My name is Tally. I'm from Rouge Powder Room. I'm here at Suavecita today to show you the new eyebrow pomade pencil. So here I have Jessica in my chair and we are using the black colored pomade eyebrow pencil. This color is actually great for anybody with like a darker brown, even black hair. I mean definitely don't be afraid of using this um, pencil here. It's really not that scary. I will be showing you how to properly map using the one, two, three technique that I like to use. So with step one, you're gonna measure from the socket of the nose and just bring it straight up to the brow. Then you get your arch, which would be your second tally. You're gonna either use a popsicle stick or some sort of straight stick that you have nearby. Put that stick right under, like right next to her nostril, the corner of the nostril, and you're gonna bring that straight across her eye. That's gonna give you the arch. So you're gonna tally that part. Now, third point will determine where your ends end. You're gonna get the measuring tool of your choice, and you're gonna put that in the corner of your nose. Bring that straight across the bottom of the eye. That'll determine where your ends end, like I've showed you here. Now you have one, two, and three. Now you will connect all three points at the top, and it's all straight lines. There's no need to curve or anything like that. Now you can get like a mirror or just kind of step away from the mirror so you can see overall if everything looks even. Now you want to look at how your hair grows. Everybody's eyebrows mostly grows up in the front. That's where you would want to brush up. Once you look at the grain of the hair, like halfway where your point two would be, you want to see where the hair grows, if it kind of grows downward or upward. Now, when you brush against the grain, you will be exposing a lot of holes, sparseness with the grain will give you the most ideal brow, which would be in most cases, brushing downward. I know it feels weird, it may be uncomfortable, it may take some time to get used to, but you'll see that it, that technique works amazing. So the really great about these pencils here are that it has like a teardrop shape to it, so which is really easy to go in and if you really wanna get a really fine line to make those points that we said, like the one, two, three, you can just flip it on the thinner side. And then once you're going into the brow and you wanna kind of blend a little more, you can turn it around and really achieve that without having too much of a harsh line. It gives you freedom to really draw in what looks like real hair, which is ideal. And you can achieve really any look you want with it. Okay, here I have Marie. We're gonna use the medium brown pencil. Would anybody with like neutral hair color, not warm, not cool, just, it's a good starting point, I would say. It's a good first pencil to start with, just in case you don't know what color or shade you are. So we're gonna extend her eyebrows just a tad bit, obviously not too much because we wanna blend the hairs as much as possible with the pencil without making it look too drawn in. Overall, her shape is really great. Um, she has a nice arch. What's really great is with like the neutral pencil, you can, you can achieve that without it looking too filled in. And this is why it's so important to make sure everything is measured correctly to make everything look proportionate. Here we have Nadia. I'll be using the ash brown pencil. Ideally, you would want to use this for anybody with like more of a cooler, lighter tone. Nadia had mentioned to me that her brows were a little uneven, sparse on one side and the other. The one, two, three technique, it really exposed what each brow needed. We're gonna brush her hair up like we have with everyone and then brush it down. We're gonna fill in her brows. You have to be careful with having shorter eyebrows. They can definitely make your eyes look a little bit too big and not proportionate to your face. I'm gonna make sure that everything looks even. The 
So here we have Esther, my next client. She's a natural redhead, as you can see. She has really light eyebrows. Ideally, I would suggest doing a brow tint just to make it easier for filling and also, you know, making them look fuller. I'm using, again, the technique that I had said previously about mapping is just brushing up in the front and then down. Um, this, again, will give her a fuller brow. Due to her having them so light, we want to make sure that we can give her the most natural look possible without overdoing it. The brow pencil looks amazing on her. It's a perfect match. It really frames her face, brings out her eye color, just not overly done, very soft. So here we have D. My next model will be using the dark brown pencil, which would be ideally for like cooler browns, um, anywhere from like a medium brown to like a darker brown, just more on the cooler side, more blue tones. With her, I'll be showing you how to do the cleanup technique, which is really great, especially if you're in a hurry in the morning or you don't really have much time, or if you're just a newbie, which is totally okay. It's really simple, it's easy. So the cleanup is really great to just get those really nice clean lines, just kind of finish up the whole brow, bring it together. Uh, you're gonna actually wanna do kind of the same technique that you would with mapping, except over the mapping, if that makes sense. So you're gonna kind of outline what you just did, doing the same technique. Everything is straight lines. As you can see, she has a really nice clean brow here, full, very natural. And if, let's just say you got a little crazy with the concealer, you can just kind of brush in a little bit more pencil and just brush it with this bully again. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Once again, my name is Talia. Check me out on Instagram. Also, keep your eyes peeled for the new eyebrow products that are coming out soon.